While your gel is equilibrating for 10 minutes, be sure you get everything else ready for the transfer. Um, here I've got our membrane. I'm using nitrocellulose. So what we want to do is to get the membrane out, please use gloves and don't handle the membrane itself unless you're using forceps. And because we cut the upper left hand part of the gel um, where we um, showed that where we started loading it, we're going to do the same thing with our membrane. So I'm going to crop the upper right hand side actually and then I'm going to pour just a little bit of the transfer buffer in another plastic container and I'm going to wet the nitrocellulose and I'm going to use a forceps to move that nitrocellulose into that container but make sure that your forceps are clean so I'm going to use some methanol and I'm going to clean my forceps before I ever touch the membrane because you want to make sure that there's not any dye or other contaminants on here. So I'm going to pick up the whole thing and then I'm going to just fold these pieces of protective paper back and I'm going to pick up the membrane just by the edges and remove the paper and I'm going to let it sit and equilibrate in the transfer buffer. Then I also want to make sure that I have four pieces of filter paper to make the sandwich with. I have a tray plus two sponges to make the sandwich, the cassette to make the sandwich with, and a roller. And then we're ready to get the tank ready. I'm going to put two napkins underneath this uh, transfer tank just in case it spills to protect my um, stir. And then I'm going to put in there a stir bar to keep the buffer circulating. This is my my cooling and then I'm going to add the transfer buffer about three quarters of the way up the tank and then I'm going to go ahead and and allow it to stir while the um, while the gel is equilibrating so it can go ahead and get cold and start recirculating.